Irish teenager Evan Ferguson has burst onto the national scene for Brighton this season with a breakout campaign that saw him score 10 goals and add 3 assists in all competitions, attracting the interest of Manchester United and drawing comparisons to a young Wayne Rooney. Even drawing admiration from Kylian Mbappe, who mentioned France had been scouting Ferguson ahead of an international fixture earlier this season. Let's take a look at his game to see why he's attracting interest of some of Europe's elite top clubs. In the attacking third of the pitch, Ferguson is already apt at finding space in the penalty box, making runs into central areas, so if slash when the ball finds him, he's directly in front of goal. This goal against Latvia is nothing special, a simple tap into an empty net, but his positioning is perfect, as a centre forward you create your own look, and being in the right spot at the right time is no coincidence. His ability to be a poacher so instinctively will only improve the more he plays and develops as a player tactically. He has a great feel for the game and his technical quality was on full display here with this goal, bringing the ball down in the box and finishing on the turn, manipulating the ball and the defenders in real time. Ferguson is still developing physically. He's not even old enough to drink a Bud Light in America yet, but his 6 foot 2 size and pace is a unique combination and part of what makes him so appealing to scouts. He's good at making powerful runs in behind and his ability to come short or go long makes him very hard to stop. Man mark him and he'll use his strength to draw you in and pop the ball off to a winner. Go zonal, he'll play on your shoulders, in the space are ready to attack in behind. Those bursts of acceleration in the final third are the foundation of Erling Haaland's game. This goal against Arsenal is an example of how he can use his strength running in behind and putting one of the best defenders in the league in William Saliba in the weight room, out muscling him and then finishing past Aaron Ramsdale. His size makes him a constant threat in the penalty box and in the air. His head and ability was on full display for this brilliant goal against Leicester, where Ferguson once again finds space in those central areas, attacks the ball and uses the pace of the cross to make his finish unstoppable. Ferguson has also shown the ability to drop deep and link the play, something every great modern centre forward needs these days. You have to be able to contribute to your team's offence and build up play. In a 3 0 win over Liverpool earlier this season, he receives the ball with his back to goal, spins, and plays a ball through the lines for Solly March, who goes on the score. Ferguson continued his run off the ball into the box in case of a rebound. His back to goal play is already at a very high level. Playing the ball off to a wide player and then making runs into the box are what strikers such as Harry Kane and Karen Benzema have become masters of over the last half decade. In this social media highlight reel age where every young player on the planet is hailed as the next GOAT, you have to be careful not to overreact to the hype. However, Evan Ferguson has a unique enough skill set and has produced enough moments to be worthy of some of that hype. As of right now, he's a talented prospect who you can't put a ceiling on. He has all the attributes to suggest he could become a world-class centre forward when you consider he's a decade away from his prime. But football progress is not linear. You only have to look at Deli Ali's career to know nothing is guaranteed. The next step for Ferguson is for him to develop under De Serbi, physically, tactically and technically. And then, can he go on and score 10 plus goals in the league next season while improving his all-round game? These are the sort of questions we need to be asking before we label him a £100 million player. It's too early to compare him to Wayne Rooney, Robbie Fowler or Michael Owen. He has huge potential, but as always, in football, the proof will be in the pudding.